what's going on everybody? It's Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. It's your one minute tip coming to you here. What is the difference between an engine failure and an engine severe damage? Super important, super important that you know this. Let me tell you why, okay? Particularly for your pilot monitoring. Look, pilot monitoring, when you are telling the pilot flying, whether you have a severe damage or whether you have a flame out, it's paramount that you understand the difference because the next course of action depends on what you tell the pilot flying. Do I have a severe damage or do I have a flame out? So let me first back up and tell you what's the difference between the two and then what the courses of action are and why it's so important that you get this properly to your pilot flying, okay? So look, a flame out is simply this, the engine's healthy. What does that mean? M1 rotation, N2 rotation, and I have oil quantity. If I have N1 rotation and I have N2 rotation and I have oil quantity, the engine is said to be healthy, which basically means I can attempt to relight. That's what I want to know as a pilot flying. Can I relight this engine, right? A severe damage would be zero N1 and or zero N2 and or zero oil quantity. Now, if I'm having zeros on any of these parameters, that tells me the engine is severely damaged. Hence, it is not healthy and I do not want to attempt to relight. Now look, here's the importance and why you need to have this very clear pilot monitoring when you go to deliver the information to pilot flying. Make sure that you do a scan of your engine indications and you search for your N1, your N2, and your oil quantity. And you want to be sure of what the particular failure is. And the reason is pilot flying, when you come back now, okay, to give them this input as to what the next course of action is, you're going to call for one of two things. If it's an engine severe damage, you're going to say engine fire severe damage or separation memory items. You're going to memory items if it's a severe damage. If it's a flame out, on the other hand, you're going to be going to the engine failure or shutdown checklist. You're going to a checklist. So look, pilot monitoring, very, very, very important that you understand the importance of proper diagnosis, analyze thoroughly basically what those engine indications are because you want to deliver proper information to the pilot flying because pilot flying, and I can't tell you how many times we have seen this in the sim, I have programmed an engine severe damage and the crew misdiagnoses it and starts doing the engine failure or shutdown checklist. You should not be doing engine failure or shutdown checklist at that point. It should be memory items, okay? Memory items first if it's a severe damage followed by the checklist, and if it's a flame out, then you're gonna to go to the engine failure or shutdown checklist. One minute tip, onestepprep.com, your instructor, Joe Munoz, always accompanied by Juan Dominguez, your friends in professional pilot type rating training. Everything made simple with us. Give us a call, phone number is 1-888-778-1441 and our website, onestepprep.com, where we're gonna guarantee your success and take the most complex of concepts and make it so simple, we guarantee you're gonna pass.